Hello everyone, Karen and CJ here coming to you from our backyard. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit cold today too, but I had somebody ask about herding, um, like herding, H-E-R-D-I-N-G. Please don't ask me to do that air spell things. Like, I'm really bad at it. Um, but well, I don't know much about teaching dogs to herd wild stock. And I also don't know if this person was asking about like preventing herding behavior in your dog. So I'm going to briefly talk about both. Um, like I said, I don't know much about teaching dogs to herd livestock. That's just not my field. However, there is a toy out there that CJ loves. This is called the Virtually Indestructible Ball. If you go on Chewy and you type that in, it should pop up. Um, but it is just a hard plastic ball and it is said to mimic the herding um, tendencies in dogs. So this can be something that's used to teach your dog the basic idea of herding. Um, so like CJ is a shepherd. So they, uh, yes, they're more for protection and things like that. But this is a game he enjoys. He will play with this red ball all day long. Um, and it just mimics the herding motion. So if you're looking to try to teach your dog to herd livestock, you could start with this ball, the virtually indestructible ball. Um, there are experts out there on how to teach your dog to properly herd livestock, livestock, but that's not me. So I apologize that I can't help farther than that. And then if your dog is herding your other animals, or maybe even your children, or maybe even you, um, there's a few things you can do to prevent that. Um, one, redirect them onto something else. If your dog starts to herd small children or other dogs, call them off or simply go and remove them from that situation. Um, 30 seconds to a minute for a timeout, let them go back. If they start herding those pets or people again, nope, another timeout. Um, some of this is ingrained natural behavior in our dogs so it is going to be hard to completely prevent it um, but by giving them another outlet like the virtually indestructible wall um, teaching them to come away from things that they're trying to herd or giving them a timeout, these are all great options so i hope this helps answer this question if you are actually looking for somebody to teach your dog to live stock herd i apologize that i don't know more um, it's just not something I ever thought I would need it. Hopefully one day I'll know more about it and can help you. But until then, CJ and I are going to get back to playing with the virtually indestructible ball. And don't forget, tell your dog I said hi.